up, scooter people. Taylor here, back out in scooter land. Today we're gonna look at the dual motor scooter versus the single motor scooter. So come along, it's a good day for a good ride. Like and subscribe, and let's get on our way. So if everything works out here, you should be seeing a side-by-side -side view of the Horizon scooter, which I'm currently on right now, a single motor 500 watt scooter, and my Ghost scooter in the other frame, which is a dual motor, dual 800 watt scooter. And I wanted to give an idea of how they perform differently. And so we're going to take it down the same track here, the same loop, if you will, just under three miles. And let you see the difference in performance, in riding. I can tell you I'm able to ride just a touch uh, more relaxed here on this scooter, going a little bit slower and uh, less force when I accelerate. Now normally I would be using my larger, more powerful scooter if I were to take this route. Uh, just is a further distance. I like to use this smaller scooter for a, a different type of riding. Both could be considered a last mile type of use, but this scooter is going to fit the last mile type of use a lot better. And so the reason is, is portability. And that's going to be the main difference, obviously, uh, between the dual motor scooter and the single motor scooter. The, the main difference is going to be portability. This is so much easier to get around. I can lift it up with one hand, it's 40 pounds. My other scooter is about 65. It's not very comfortable to lift up with one hand. I pretty much only do so to get it in the trunk of a car. Uh, which I guess I would say the same here, but it's just easier. So I filmed uh, the Ghost about an hour ago. The conditions may look a little different. It looks like the sun has broken through, the clouds have burned off. It's shaping up to be a marvelous day to ride. Now I sometimes give people the warning about the telemetry data uh, in terms of the miles per hour, the grade of the road. Those are all dependent on the satellites uh, that the GoPro is receiving. And there are some scenarios where the GoPro doesn't want to receive so well. It's usually when I'm up against a tree or a wall and it just doesn't have enough space to reach out is what I've found. So it does get a lot better data when I'm riding in the middle of the road, which I would never do with this uh, scooter. It goes, it doesn't go fast enough to keep up the traffic. It's, uh, it's a great scooter for kind of those city commutes. I like this one. On the dual motors, great for the longer range, the, the speed and exhilaration. Uh, whew, I love the speed and exhilaration on the Ghost. But again, as I was passing through on the Ghost with this, I kept it into gear two, and I kept the uh, pedal to the metal, so to say, or the throttle to the rubber here on the Ghost the whole time. And so, you know, you have to take kind of a defensive stance when you ride that fast and uh, really focus on what's coming at you quickly because over 30 miles an hour, I mean, things happen fast. You've gotta be ready to brake quickly. Uh, I usually do ride my Ghost uh, with my hands on, or a couple of fingers on both brakes uh, when I go that speed. I'm also prepared to uh, drop my knees and bend down to uh, do an emergency brake. So that's always in the back of my mind when I go fast on the Ghost. So it's a different style of riding here. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm very confident in this riding. I don't, I don't even have the same safety gear on that I was using for the Ghost. I was using my knee pads, 
um, my armor jacket. So this is a decent hill that the horizon is climbing right now. And let's, we'll see how the grades stack up between the two uh, comparisons, the, the two takes from the GoPro. Here's my turnaround spot. Traffic looks clear, so we'll have a pretty, uh, a pretty uh, similar turnaround as the, on both scooters. But that is one feature about the Ghost that's really cool for its little niche, especially when it first came out. Uh, you know, I have, I've had this scooter for close to two years now, not quite, but close. And when it first came out, it really did have a niche above the 9 bot, bot max uh, for giving you this speed, being able to handle a little extra weight, uh, being a little higher off the ground, those types of things. Now there's quite a few options in this class of scooter, I would say, and really good option. Um, so I still love the scooter and I still would say it's a, it's a value. It's a really a good bargain. You know, you get what you pay for. If you pay a couple hundred dollars more, you might find, you will find a scooter out there that has a couple hundred dollars more in features. So by now, I would assume that the ghost has finished the course and the horizon is catching up. And so this, uh, the horizon or single motor, this particular one would not be really the scooter for long group rides. Uh, I think the ghost would be the entry level, the, the basic starting point that you would uh, use for that. You know, with the Ghost, I don't, especially now that I've gotten a lot of miles on it, I love the torque off the line, but I don't necessarily ride at high speeds all that often. And when I say high speeds, I'm talking about over 30 miles an hour. And so I don't do it that often, uh, but I do usually have a mile or two of, a, of high speeds in a riding session, but most of it is probably around 25 miles an hour. It's just a really good sweet spot to ride. So does the, the Horizon scooter, the single motor scooter, get you to 25 miles an hour? Not quite. I mean, down a hill, I'll, I've gone 25. But uh, you're going 20 on flat ground, and I usually ride at 200 pounds with backpacks and everything. So yeah, that is uh, just a quick little s snapshot there of the dual motor and single motor scooters and kind of the difference in riding. Uh, a different riding style with the larger dual motor scooter needing to take a more, you have to take a more defensive stance. Here I can just have more of a relaxed view. I'm actually retardedly comfortable with just riding with one hand. Uh, I do not recommend doing this, a scooter with these small wheels, but I'm telling you, I've been on this scooter so much, I, I don't know what I have, like over 1,300 miles. So I, I can do this on the Ghost too, but I mean, it's a lot easier to do it at 15 miles an hour. I guess uh, that's all I got to say for now. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Scoot, scoot.